talk about the game tonight, you know, just your overall thoughts. You know, um, came in with a chip on our shoulder. We, um, it, we had a whole season to think about last year's game against Miami. And that's what we were prepared this week for. But we was just like, you know what, they didn't get our best effort the first time out. Let's come back again. It's a new season. It's a new game. Be ready for it. Jerry? Um, same with Raven said. We just wanted to <clears throat> come out really aggressive and show that last game was not the same this year. So we wanted to just prove ourselves and just play this. Okay. Um, you guys want to come out aggressive. You guys, first half, you know, first couple ten, first ten minutes, you guys kind of struggled offensively to find your way. Um, they were shooting 40%, but then all of a sudden, like at the 10 minute mark, you guys flipped the switch defensively and they cut their field goal percentage to 28%. Can you guys talk about your guys' mindset? Well, as far as offensively, it took us a minute to kind of adjust to their defense, you know, how to figure out how to read between the scenes of their, of their line or whatever. But once we figured that out, defense came, you know, because we were so worried about offense, you, and you can't let the offense affect your defense, and that's what we were doing the first part of the game. And once we figured it out, our defense came effortlessly. We just, you know, tried to get stops and not let them get easy catches anywhere on the floor. They just rotated and helped each other out. Talk. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of gotten rhythm towards the end of the first half, you know, and then the second half, they come out with a, a two, three, and they were just like, damn, you guys are shoot. And then, uh, but you guys um, still found, maintained aggressive aggressiveness and found a way to get to the basket. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, you know, we knew that they were going to come out and try to throw something different because we went in at half on the high horse. Um, so coming out of halftime, we knew we couldn't stop attack. We couldn't stop attacking the basket because that's what they wanted. They wanted us to shoot those uh, long range shots so they can just get the ball and go. And we couldn't fall into that. We had to keep playing our game. We just needed to move the ball around and get inside touches, and that led to good shots on the perimeter and on the inside. <clears throat> okay, there's plenty of times in the second half you guys fell behind by seven late in the half. You guys. But you guys didn't quit. I mean, Terry, you pretty much uh, took over. You know, you stayed aggressive. You know, can you just talk about your mindset to, during that time period? I was just thinking, get to the basket. Just, just go. Just, they can't stop me. Just go to the basket. Either I'm going to get fouled or I'm going to make the layup. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about like, Terry's play for him? You know, that, um, that's one reason why I love playing with Terry. When she gets it in her head, it's, it's like a switch turns on. And you can't, no one can stop her. You know, and that's why I just love playing with her because once she's confident and feel comfortable in the game, she's gone. And I like that about her confidence. Okay. Um, Terry, do you ever get tired on the court? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Yes, yes. And that's when I, you know, and I just need a quick breather. But if I sit down for a couple seconds, I'm, I'm good to go. Okay. okay um, and then you, we'll talk a little bit about overtime, you guys. Uh, Jesse came out, she had a big three to kick it off, and then they come right back and hit a three, and they take the lead. Yet again, you guys, you guys were taking so many body blows, but you guys didn't go down. You guys kind of hung around, you know. Can you talk a little bit about your mindset about that? You know, you know, that we uh, have a mindset of stopping scores. You know, uh, before we can score, we need to focus on defense first. And in overtime, that's really what it came down to. We played uh, five minute games like that all the time in practice, and it was just the situations. So we were used to that type of situation. Okay. Okay. Basically, what she just said. Okay, 5.8 seconds left in overtime. Michaela, she splits the three the free throws. What's going through your mind as they're coming down the court? No threes, no fouls. Stop the ball. Stop the ball. <laughs> that's, that's our mindset. That's what we knew we had to do. We, no we can contain the point guard, watch where 11 was, and we knew 21 was hot from the three also. So we just had, you know, had to be aware, but at the same time, protect the basket. Right, that's two straight in the OBC. Um, you guys ready to put together a little run here? Most oh, definitely. Yes. Most definitely. Yeah, overtime thriller, can you just talk about your thoughts on the game? Well, I'm just, I'm really proud of our team and just how they continue to fight. This, I felt like this was a great basketball game, you know, one team in, in, have a knockout punch like you were talking earlier about Jesse's three and then they come down and hit a three and and it was just a back and forth game and you just have to persevere in games like that you just have to keep playing you have to trust in what you're doing and especially trusting your teammates defensively and I think that's probably what I'm so proud of is just 
how hard and how st focused we stay defensively yeah, against a, a very good UT Martin team. Um, like I, like I asked to make him out of a two-three zone in the second half early on, kind of like daring you guys to shoot. Um, did you guys think that as a personal challenge? Well, we, we we felt like we had a pretty good idea of what they were going to do defensively to us, and and. I, I realize that most people have to try to pack it in on Raven, and, and she draws a lot of attention there. But, but I was really proud of our perimeter players. We stepped up, we knocked down shots, but we also penetrated, and that's what's so key is you have to have that good mix of taking those outside shots and attacking the basket. And when we got stagnant, Terry really took it to the basket and, and showed her athleticism, and that helped us stay aggressive. Can you talk a little bit about Terry's play, especially late in the second half? Of the I, just, I just think, you know, T gives me every single thing she has out there all the time. And she plays extremely hard, extremely passionate, and, and solid defensive assignments and things that we make her do. And then on top of that, staying aggressive on the offensive end, I thought she had a very nice ball game. Okay, Coach. Um, over time, uh, McHale's on a free throw. Then they asked them five point eight seconds left. She splits. Um, they're coming down the court. What's going through your mind? We just need to stop. We need to make sure we didn't let them speed up the floor and get by us. We need to keep them in front and, and just try to slow them down a little bit and make sure we had everybody covered and not let not let an attack go to the basket. Try to make sure it's a contested shot and block out. You guys uh, put together your two uh, two back to back wins at OVC. Um, can you just talk about your position and? Well, I think you know you just go each and every game right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's. It's about what's the next game. You know, I want our players to obviously feel great about this, hopefully gain some confidence, a little bit of momentum. But then when we step back on the court tomorrow afternoon for practice, it all the concentration goes goes to SEMO. It's just how it is and how you are as an athlete. You need to it, the enjoyment unfortunately is very short lived and then you have to turn around and start focusing on your next opponent. Right. Is there anything else you want to add? No, I was just I, I'm really proud of our players. I felt like they they really you know, stayed together, stayed tough the whole 45 minutes, and, and I'm just really proud of their efforts tonight.